I am Yuno, one of the magic knights of the Clover Kingdom. What's up, Nero Nation? Black Clover Chapter 356 dropped super early. I mean, these fan translations were so fast, this video ain't even on time. And you know that's not my style, but I still got you guys, man. So make sure you thumb up the video. Also, remember to read the official chapter once it drops to show Tabata some love. And I will be going live the same day the official chapter dropped, around about 1 p.m. Eastern time. So have your notifications turned on. With that being said, we got to talk about you know, <laughs> Yo, you know is on a whole nother level. You know the crazy thing is? You still got people out here hating them, man. You got people out here hiding, waiting, lurking in the shadows, waiting for Lucius to actually beat you know so they could pop up and be like, I knew you know would lose. Oh, yeah. I knew Lucius would take him down quick and easy. Oh, you didn't know, Nero? Oh, I could have told you that, Nero. I, I guarantee you, it's some haters out there, man. Like, yo, the Yuno hate is real, man. Yo, but Yuno's just done so many amazing things, man. With this new spell that he just achieved, man. Like, oh my, it's next level. And it's so creative, man. It's so creative. And it really makes me wonder if, like, Tabata, like, you know, someone else brought this up in the comment section. That's what really brought it to my uh, attention. But I wonder if Tabata was doing foreshadowing when he first, when Yuno first got bailed. Remember how time seemed to have stopped? And was this a hint of what Yuno was truly capable of? He just needed the star magic to get him the extra boost? Is this what Tabata was trying to hint us at? What? What? Let me tell you something, man. Yo, Tabata is a genius. If this is how he truly planned it out, let me know in the comment section if y'all agree with that. If you think Tabata planned it from that very moment when Yuno first got bail and time stopped to see a little glimpse of what he was truly capable of. And he just needed him to have that star magic to actually do it. Let me know if y'all feel the same way. But we're going to get into this chapter, man. I just had to put that up there. Yo, it starts off where you got Yuno facing off against Lucius. Of course, you know your boy Lucius is talking mad trash, saying like, yo, you are strong, but you will not be able to stop us. And I like the fact that uh, Lucius is actually talking like he's a team, like he actually cares about his team. I don't know if he does, but he's actually sounding like it in this part right here. But I wouldn't be surprised if his back is against the ropes and he's like sacrificed them to empower himself, you know. But you got all these angels flying over the Magic Knights. The Magic Knights start attacking. And then that's when they realize like, yo, these guys are shooting out different uh, magic attributes. And it's crazy. Their mana is insane. And I really want to know the levels of these, um, of these angels. Like, are they like vice captain level are they captain level like what level are these angels like could these angels fight against this lion and like actually beat her could they fight against like the weakest captain i don't know who's the weakest ca uh, captain kaiser and beat kaiser like what are these angels truly capable of because they're beating magic knights and based off how they acting in this chapter that's not a hard feat to do like these dudes acting like yo the the resistance they acting like the uh, the people from the heart kingdom like they just they ain't looking too good, man. They looking suspect, man. Like, they don't need to be Magic Knights anymore. At least some of them. But you got a couple of them that still remain as strong, you know. So, as well as the Mushroom guy. But anyway, you got Morris talking junk saying, like, yo, Rebels was turned into these angels as well as Renegades. And so, it seemed like these people are, are these angels are people that Lucius himself did not deem worthy to become an actual paladin. Is that what I'm actually saying? Like, so, if that is the case... Doesn't that mean Lucius is somewhat passing judgment on people? Like, what determines if they're just a regular angel or a paladin? I feel he, he said he want to create an equal world. If that's the case, then why would you have two different angels, paladins as well as regular angels? Why, why would that be the case? I don't know, man. I seem like I see a flaw in his plan. I see a flaw in his plan, and maybe he might realize that at some point in the story. Who knows? But it seems like he's using Morris' ability to actually. Uh, reconstruct stuff to create these angels like turn these people into angels and it's kind of messed up man i wonder if they're gonna like break free and gain control like when when Asta come and do like a big ass anti-mana zone that would be something dope to see but you see all the magic knights they're full of despair they're saying like yo there's not much we can do that's when the mushroom guy stepped up and he's like yo we can still fight we can still protect the people and yo shout out to that guy i thought he was dope when he was on the well team in the uh training arc and it, it, he really is. He, I forgot all about him, but he really is a cool dude, man. Then you got Soul as well. She goes to, like, punch one of the angels. And that's when she realized, like, yo, her punch was able to somewhat, like, you know, stop the uh, angel. And she was, like, surprised. And that's when you see 
a fairy flying around it. Like, yeah, you see little Tinker Bell, you know what I'm saying? A lot of Tinker Bells flying around, or at least little like clone images. And you see a flute, and you see this flute being blown, and it's being blown by, yes, Bell is blowing the flute. And you see Yuno using his star win magic combo. Like, yo, this is ridiculous, yo. I did not know it was a combination spell. I did not get that from the spoilers, but it's star X win uh, spirit magic. Never, never land. What a attack. And you just see the whole, the whole, look like the whole Clover Kingdom. Ba based off what I'm looking at in this panel, it looks like it's the whole entire Clover Kingdom being covered and inside of the Never Never Land spell. That is ridiculous. A spell of that size is ridiculous. I don't care what you think about Yuno. Know, to do a spell of that size is God level. I'm sorry. I, look, look, man, Yuno you know ain't even my favorite character, but I gotta give respect when respect is due. This thing looks like it's covering the whole Clover Kingdom. And I'm pretty sure someone's going to be like, no, Nero, it's not the whole kingdom. If you look, it's only Sector 5G. No, it's not the whole Clover Kingdom. Look, man, it looks like the whole kingdom in this panel I'm looking at. And the fact that he's able to do a spell that big and the fact that this spell has the ability to boost his teammates and weaken his enemies. Like, <sighs> with a spell like this, man, yo, like someone said in the comments, you got this spell combined it with Captain Reels of uh, Valhalla spell. Yo, the whole, everybody in there could be Captain level just running like, yo, running, fighting to the death. Throw in some food from Charmy. Like, yo, who gonna stop the Clover Kingdom there on a whole other The whole kingdom is just straight bosses right now. But you got, you got the Magic Knights. They're feeling excited. They're, they're, they're getting their spirits back. They're like, yo, we can do this. It would have been ridiculous if one of them would have died right at that moment. If soon someone would have said that, like you would have saw them get shot, like uh, like Sale did Trunks in uh <laughs> in Dragon Ball Z. It's like, <laughs> I still got it. Like so, like that would have happened. I would be like, damn. I don't think they could do it, but you see these guys, they're they're excited, they're running in, they're marching, they're fighting, and you gotta, this, this has got to be some translation errors. They're like, yo, with this power, we can fight and die. There's no way these guys said that. If they did, much respect to them, because like, as soon as I would have been next to the dude who said fight and die, I'm like, I mean, we can fight, but who said something about dying? Like, nigga, that ain't part of the plan, man. I, got, I gotta go. But you see, you know, using his spell, his arm looks different. I wonder, like, I wonder if his arm is in pain and that's why he had to banish it or is it just something like he had to he it's a spell he can't truly control so he has to wrap it up to keep it contained i really want to know the secret from the bandage because his arm looked it different when he looked at normal when he took the bandages off and then it transformed so i'm really curious is there something he has to restrain and what's up with that bell i mean that horn that bell ha actually has in her hand like can that bell i, I mean can that horn do more than just actually create the never never land spell and bell herself man she really grew up <laughs> she really grew up. a lot of y'all said it in the comments like she grew up i mean the girl grew up you know she she is a adult now you know she is about 27 look like in this uh in this picture but it is what it is you know what i'm saying i'm gonna I'm, I'm keep it moving i'm gonna keep it moving but you see uh lucius uh looking at you know and about to attack him and he actually puts him in the spear time spear and says like yo um, I'm going to speed up time and you will cease to exist. And I'm not going to lie. Yuno had the coldest look. Like, it ain't like he turned around like, oh, man, you got me. He just turned back like, yo, like on, on, on some Kapachi from Bleach type stuff. Like, yo, like he about to slice him down. Like, he just turns and look like he don't even turn his whole body. He just glanced over to the left and look at him and say like, yo, in Neverland, time does not exist. And I'm going to say it again twinkle twinkle bitch <laughs> like yo you know it's just on a whole nother level the fact that he did that and you got lucius saying like yo i hate it i knew it like lucius himself seen this in one of his predictions so i want to know what type of counter attack he's actually got planned for this because you got to think lucius seen many future outcomes and he's seen that you know would be the person that would be the biggest threat so what precautions did he take in order to take Yuno down? So yes, I'm going to agree with the haters out there. Yuno isn't going to win this battle, but I don't think it's going to be an easy battle for Lucius. But at the same time, the only reason Yuno isn't going to win is because 
Lucius had the ability to prepare for this because he conceived future. He had the ability and time to prepare for this battle. So he knows what he needs to do and what he don't need to do in this battle against Uno. That's the only reason he's going to win because the fact that, you know what I'm saying, time doesn't exist in Neverland. So that means that Lucius time magic won't work on anybody within that dome. Within that dome of Never Neverland, the time magic won't work on him. So that means every magic knight has a chance on getting a shot on Lucius. So that means Yami got a chance. That means William. That's crazy that you know waited till after William got took it out to do the spell. Like, hey yo, I'm gonna, let, let me see what the previous the uh, the captain could do. All right, he got took down. It's my time to shine. There you know what up there. That's that's crazy right there. But anyway, the fact that that spell is so huge, everyone can fight Lucius. But just because the time uh, time magic is like not uh, is non and void in this ability in this um in the spell doesn't mean Lucius other abilities won't work and I'm pretty sure he's going to use all those to try to crush you know as well as any other magic knight but you got uh, Lucius saying like yo you are my rival you know saying you are not my rival and I just love that part to me that was the best part of this chapter just because how much I love the relationship between Asta and you know and how they were like true rivals from the beginning of the series even to this point it, you know every series has rivals but I feel like black clover did it the best like well it's one of the best one of the best rivals number one would be yusuke and kuwabara from um yu yu haka show that would be number one but i feel like this one is just as good then probably gone gone and kilowatt but this would probably be third like their relationship i mean there's other series with great relationships as well I, there's a lot of them i can't think of them all offhand but there's a lot of them but i just like the the fact that they never were enemies they were never trying to hurt one another they always from the beginning of the series were trying to like make the other one get stronger and stronger by reaching higher and higher heights and i love that about you know in asta and the fact that you know just looks at lucius and tells him like yo you might be the person i'm facing right here right now and you might be the person that's trying to take over this world but you are not my rival you're not worthy of that i just love that moment yo shout out to you know i just i just think that was a powerful moment you guys can let me know if um y'all feel the same way about that moment and i really hope this doesn't change in the official chapter once it drops but next thing you know you see you know go into his spirit dive form and he actually like slashes down um lucius and if you look closely you can see that he actually cut off one of the horns of lucius so i want to know what's going to be the counter attack the fact that he slashed off a horn of lucius is ridiculous oh my gosh not to mention i did forget to mention klaus i did in the spoiler video but i forgot to mention him in this chat in this review klaus shout out to my boy man he's a goat klaus is a goat the fact that he shouted out like yo you know you can become wizard king <laughs> klaus you know klaus is just one of those dudes where you just you gotta have him on the squad he ain't even gotta do nothing you just having him on the squad you just like yo that's the motivation I need. Like, yo, he's just a motivational speaker, man. Yo, give him the mic, son. Let him spit something. That's how Klaus is. Shout out to him, man. Another great moment. Honestly, man, I wonder where he... I can't remember where he came on the popular, uh, popularity poll. But I hope he was pretty high. I, I, I would like to hope, but I doubt he was because those popularity polls be on a whole nother thing. But all in all, man, amazing chapter. Solid 10 out of 10, man. Remember, we're going live this weekend around about 1 o'clock. Make sure your notifications are turned on. Thank you to everybody who watched the video to this end, to the end, I mean, to this point. I'm sorry, I'm messing up. I'm so excited. Hopefully you did like this video though. And if you did, make sure you thumb it up, subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications, man. Whoa, Tabata, man, he doing his thing, man. Black Clover, woo! Hey, yo, this your boy, Daryl Beckett, man. Side it out. Peace.